This is Cododork. Let's see what we have here. Declare and initialize data into lists. So let me hit run. There's not much going on yet. Ooh, some interactivity. Where they're starting us off. Um, we want to create the list that we need to make our magic eight ball. And so they give us the names of the list that we need to declare and initialize. Don't let these technical words scare you guys. So declare means just to bring it into existence. So I'm going to grab some vars here, right? Some variable blocks. And these are the list names. So I'm just going to hammer those in. I just copied and pasted them. Pada. There's our three lists, and this is declaring the variable. The variable has no value yet, but it exists in our code, right? Now, to initialize, that's where we assign it a value. Since we've already declared it, we can't use var again. The computer will throw an error if I say var again, because it says, wait a minute, that already exists. So I got to get that out of here, and I need these equal signs. One, two, three. Now, oftentimes we do declare and initialize variables at the same in one line. Let me real quick get this in. Boom, boom, boom. And so that would just be having this here and having it, you know, all combined, maybe equal to zero or whatever you need. That is declaring it and then initializing it or giving it a value. This way, we're doing it separately. We first declare and then initialize. We're doing it over two lines. Now, we need to get the data for this. But where the heck is the data? It's happily living under our data tab. Now I'm going to click on this table name, Fortune Data, which we'll need to use. And here's all the data that we will be including or that will be generating uh, the uh, mechanics of our app. And so notice we have a list of fortunes. We have lucky colors. These are the hash numbers or the hash codes for the colors and then the color name. So we want to grab all this data and save it into some big lists or arrays. And we do that using a method. I'm headed over here to data and get column. They provide this for us because they're kind. Now, what was my table's name? I'm going to use these little drop downy arrow things, also known as triangles. <laughs> um, and yep, there it is. That was the name of our table. And then what column will go under fortunes? Droop, droop, uh, the, hey, fortunes. Uh, and let me just double check here, data. Yep, that's what I need. And let me fill in these other two real quick. So you do want to make sure that you get these right. Get column, fortune data, color name, fortune data, lucky color, because it will get real confusing if you don't get them right later on. And if you look over here, lucky color is actually the color code. Color name is the, well, the color name. So it looks like we have that knocked out. Task two, initialize these lists with data of get column. We got that. And then, yep. Oh, and now we need to go ahead and get some uh, or make some index variables. And remember what an index variable is. It's basically used to keep track of where we are in a list. So I'm going to head over to variables uh, and, yep, declare and initialize both values to zero. So I'm going to do this in one line. Let me hammer these in. And there we go. So that's me declaring and the initialization. I create the variable and initialize it in one full swoop. Cool. Looks like we have this set up. I'm excited to see. Um, I'm excited to continue building it. Onward.